Guys, I'm um, discussing these five TV series that I enjoy. Uh, really, my idea is not really to do uh, like big in-depth discussions on them and reviews on them and that sort of thing. It's just kind of to bring you a little bit of attention to the five shows that I enjoy and just a little bit of something of interest in there along the way, along with maybe some characters and just a little bit of the story outline and uh, stuff like that. It's not really to go in-depth and deep into the uh, details of the actual series itself. That would take far too long. So I hope you enjoy, all right? Hey guys, what's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, I got a little project that I'm doing here and I have five TV shows that are more on the serious side, uh, that are my favorite TV shows of all time, uh, kind of in that genre and that kind of category, kind of the more serious. Now, two of the shows have some serious elements, but also a little bit of clowning around uh, from time to time. But they, they do have some serious elements and uh, some good story and uh, some good teachings. All right, guys, the final two I'm putting together. Why am I putting them together? Because they're both very intertwined with one another and deal with the same characters in both shows and uh, a lot of the same themes and everything. So uh, let's get right to it. Both of them are Hercules the Legendary Journeys, which came out in 1995 and lasted till 1999, and Xena the Warrior Princess uh, came out in 1995 and lasted till 2001. Uh, yes, I'm putting these two together because they intertwine with one another. Uh, stars Kevin Sorbo as Hercules, Michael Hurst as Aeolus, Lucy Lawless as Xena, Renee O'Connor as Gabrielle, and Bruce Campbell as Atalicus. And there are tons of other characters in both shows. And like I've said before, you can't put down all the characters because it would take the whole page and it would take forever. So uh, there's tons of other great characters in both of these series. Uh, really great characters. And I really love Bruce, uh, Bruce Campbell's character too, as, as a matter of fact. All right, the basic stories are Hercules and... Aeolus go on adventures helping people and slaying mythical monsters along the way. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. Uh, now some of the, some of the episodes get a little bit deeper than that, of course. But that's just kind of the basic story, plot synopsis of Hercules. Xena is a little bit different. Uh, Xena, a mighty warrior princess with a dark past sets out to redeem herself. She's, she is joined by Gabrielle, and together they journey the ancient world and fight for the greater good against ruthless warlords and gods. So uh, what you're going to notice whenever you watch both of these shows is their tones are similar, but way different. So uh, especially uh, later on in Xena. Um, matter of fact, I say kind of right here, Hercules is a little more lighthearted with some serious elements thrown in along the way. You know, there's deaths and different things and, uh, on all, uh, and that they got to go through and, uh, and, and just different types of things that, you know, are darker and, and more sad and tragic, but Hercules overall is a little more lighthearted, uh, not quite so dead serious, you know. Uh, and Xena is a little more ruthless. Uh, the characters, the fights, even some kind of sexual tension, kind of innuendos maybe along the way uh, between her and Gabrielle, uh, which is kind of uh, taboo even a little bit. Uh, it's not something that you know you see a lot of, and there's not a lot of like actual you know, uh, physicality to it, 
but there's a lot of innuendos, you know, kind of insinuating and kind of some moments that you're like, oh, what were they doing there? So, uh, also, just to let you know, uh, there was five movies that preceded Hercules uh, with Kevin Sorbo uh, that were Hercules movies uh, that led up to the series. So there was five of those movies. Uh, as far as Hercules goes, it's great fun. I'm sure the portrayal of the gods are a little bit off uh, and some of the stories as well. But it's all in good fun. Uh, Hercules reminds me of uh, He-Man. It seems uh, they always have kind of a decent message thrown in to the story somewhere along the way. And it, it just kind of really reminds me of the old uh, He-Man cartoon. Uh, the acting's great. The sets are really good. Uh, they give a good sense of journey, a good sense of home and adventure. Uh, I love the chemistry between Hercules and Aeolus. Uh, they're really good friends on the show, and uh, probably after the show. I don't know. But uh, some really fun episodes and some sad and uh, more somber uh, moments are in there for sure. But, you know, it, it's mostly about, you know, battling kind of, you know, mean people and, you know, some monsters and, and kind of things along the way. Uh, and the overall, I truly love it. And uh, for some reason, I feel like a little kid when I watch it. I don't know. Not a little 10-year-old kid, but I just feel kind of like a kid when I'm watching it. I don't know. Uh, Xena, uh, she's a great character. Uh, she's strong, stubborn, driven, uh, sometimes brutal. Uh, I've yet to watch the whole series, but I've seen most of it. Uh, Xena does what Hercules does. It, it really delivers on the adventures uh, also, the great camaraderie uh, between Xena and Gabrielle reminds me of Hercules and uh, Aeolus. Uh, both Hercules and Xena, they both give us great fight scenes. They're fun. They're kind of over the top, sometimes a little whimsical, a little humor thrown in. Uh, there's great dialogue. There's great chemistry between all the characters that you're going to run into. They did a really good job at... Uh, getting the people to portray the characters and the, and a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the stuff. And it, it just, it really feels like a fun, uh, real interaction between a lot of the characters. And really you end up liking all the characters, even, even the little cruddy ones. But, uh, yeah, uh, there's great struggles and there's great drama and there's fun and, and all kind of good stuff along the way, really in both of these shows. Uh, Xena does get, uh, a little dark at times. Uh, there's some episodes in there that do. And then plus the last uh, episode of the very last um, uh, last of the show, last of the seasons, uh, gets a little uh, dark. But, uh, you know, uh, that's Xena. It's, uh, like I said, it's a little, it's the same, but it's a little different. I think it goes, it, it, it kind of teeters on the edge of more towards an older crowd, maybe. Uh, where Hercules is kind of, you know, in the He-Man cartoon kind of crowd. So, yeah, they're both really good shows. And uh, they both hit the mark on what they're trying to do, I believe. Um, I really hate that they end the series kind of how they did. And just kind of quick. And, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have seen them wrap them up maybe a little differently. Uh, it'd be even nice to go, uh, you know, if they would kind of reprise the roles, even as old as they are. Just... Just to kind of bring back some of that fun, I guess, you know, some of that innocence, even back then, you know, times were a little bit more innocent even back then than they are now. And it hadn't been that long ago, but, uh, that's pretty much it on my five TV shows that are kind of centered more around seriousness, um, and I know Hercules and Xena kind of, kind of teeter on that line a little bit but I put them in this category and, and, and kind of with Miami Vice and The Walking Dead and Lost and all that because I didn't want to put them with something along the lines of you know Friends or Roseanne or you know Home Improvement or something like that you know uh to me they they just kind of they need to be classified in a different way and so I put them with these 
shows uh, that I put them with. So for me, uh, if there was five of these type of TV shows uh, that I could watch for the rest of my life, it'd be these five shows, okay? So I just thought that this would be interesting to kind of touch on and uh, kind of go over some of uh, the TV shows that I like that are maybe a little different. Maybe you haven't seen some of them. Maybe you haven't even heard of them. Maybe you've watched them all. Hey, let me know in the comments, guys. There's a lot to talk about. Five whole TV series, there's something to talk about in there, okay? So share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Don't forget, guys, check out the playlist. That's where all my videos are. I have all kinds of stuff from something like this to cycling to art projects to throwing darts to reading books and cooking and taste tests and just all kinds of good stuff. Check out the playlist, okay? Even some video game stuff in there. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I actually live stream video games. The game I'm live streaming recently now is Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection. I've really just started on that, so you're not far behind if you want to catch up real quick. Also, playlist on there. You can go back and watch the video games that I've been playing and stuff. I've went through Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, and now I'm on Halo 3, I guess. So, yeah, we're moving right along. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, guys. All right, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And have an awesome time doing it, guys. We'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. See you later. Get up, get out, get around and do it.